Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. Uh, it's uh, the 15th of January and we've done more than uh, two weeks of yoga. Uh, I am curious of how you feel and what's going on in your body and in your mind and uh, if you feel any difference in your bodies and um, stuff like that. I'm also very curious of what you're thankful for. Um, I am... Um, I am very, <laughs> very thankful for, um, for, for the warmth in, in my home. It's really warm, finally. It was very cold for a few days. Uh, and, um, and I don't like when it's cold in where I live. <laughs> I really, I'd rather pay, like, it's not maybe so environmental friendly, but I really, I really don't like to freeze. Um, so I'm very happy to have worked up, up the, the heat in my house and um, I'm thankful for that. I'm also, um, I'm also very thankful for uh, my friends who are helping me uh, when I have some struggles with uh, the language, uh, which is it's quite often. <laughs> That's the problem when you live in, in a country where you don't speak the language fluently. I do speak a, a bit of, of French, but uh, I'm not fluent yet. And when it comes to like bureaucratic, uh, advanced language, it's uh, very challenging for me. Um, but I'm thankful for my friends helping me out then. And I am uh, very, very grateful and uh, thankful for um, um, for what this is. Uh, so far, this yoga channel uh, with like almost 8,500 followers and uh, and um, you know some people uh, that I know are, are doing this with me every day and uh, that I let myself be a part of uh, changing the world. I'm very thankful for giving that to myself and for not limiting what I do because of fear. Um, it feels like it's the subject, you know, but I think I think most people aren't living up to their potential because they're scared and, and they find different excuses to not do what they're dreaming of because of fear. And I think it's a very, very sad way of living. Um, I think the majority of the people in this world are not alive, you know, they're living dead. They're just like robots. And uh, it's, it's so provoking for me, you know, because every day of, of being alive is a gift. Uh, so, um, yeah, I feel very thankful for that too, you know, being alive today and sharing this experience together with you. So, we're going to do some yoga. So maybe we keep the time, you know, to 15 minutes today. I am so bad in that. But get down on your sitting bones, straighten up your back, close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Observe what's going on in your body and in your mind. Observe your breathing and where it's located in your body. We're gonna start taking control over our breath. So on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. And on the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. Beautiful. We're gonna come back to this breathing, but before that, we're gonna do the breath of fire, fire breathing to to wake our body up from the inside. And I say this like almost every morning, but if there are like a few things that you should do every day, it's the, the fire breathing, 
every morning before you have breakfast. So we're gonna do that now. And what we do is that we push the belly button towards the spine quick and fast. We're gonna do that for 100 breaths. In eight steps. Now we're gonna do the hip roll, so on the inhalation come forward. And then the exhalation back. Switch direction. Job. We're going to switch our legs. And then we're going to do a um, side stretch. So we're going to place our left hand on the left side and on the inhalation come up. Look underneath the arm. And on the exhalation come down. Put your right arm placed on the side and inhale come up with your left arm. Look underneath. Exhale come down. Inhale come up. Exhale come down. Inhale up. One last round. Beautiful. We're also going to do a shoulders roll because a lot of people sit with a lot of uh, tensions in this area, especially if you work in front of a computer. So you're going to inhale and roll the shoulders back. And on the exhalation, we come forward. Inhale, roll your shoulders.
we switch direction. Email back. Last round. Beautiful. Now we're gonna come to all our fours. We're gonna do the cat and cow. So place your knees straight underneath your hips, place your hands straight underneath your shoulders. Now the inhalation come forward with your belly, look halfway up the seat. We come to Taylor's position. No, in, not in Taylor's position, I'm sorry. We're gonna come here and we're gonna uh, either you stay with the straight leg or you place your um, your right foot on the outer part of the left leg and either you stay with the straight leg or you bend your left leg. If you bend your, your leg, make sure that both your sitting bones are in the mat. Otherwise, you stay with the straight leg. And this is to get as much benefits from this uh, position as possible. If you move too quick in yoga, you're not gonna benefit from the position. So don't try to do things on a level where you're not at the moment and give your body time to adjust and create the space needed for doing these um, different exercises. Here we're gonna hug our left leg with our, our right leg with our left arm. Place your left, your right hand behind the back and look over your right shoulder. I'm so sorry for a right, left and right. I suck in that. But you can't be good at everything, can you? It's okay, I love myself anyway. On the exhalation, come to the middle and roll over to the other side. Exhale to the middle and we're gonna switch legs. Either you work with a straight right leg or you bend it. Place your left foot on the outer part of the right knee. Get down on both your sitting bones. Hug your left knee with your right arm. Place your left hand behind the back and look over your left shoulder. Hold there for seven breaths. the exhalation come to the middle and we're gonna do one breath and the other way to neutralize beautiful now we're gonna come to table position get down on your sitting bones and straighten up your back close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows the third eye looking inwards and let this third eye lead you to the area around your heart in this area you find an inner room where you're gonna spend some time just for yourself there is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Om Paramatmane Namaha Sri Patanjala Yoga Darsha 
Shanti, so place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Place your palms to your forehead for you to think good thoughts through the day. To your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to be um, kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. I love you guys. Thank you so much for participating and please let me know, you know, what you're thankful for today and uh, remember to go out there and focus what you, you can give to the world today. Mwah. See you tomorrow. Bye.